Hey guys, it's Ash, and in this video, we're going to be rating the best brawlers for every archetype. Guys, there are seven archetypes in Brawl Stars, which include the tank, the support, assassin, damage dealer, marksman, artillery, and controller. So each of these archetypes has a specific role important for the success of you and your team. For example, tanks are amazing for aggressive pushes that can put a lot of pressure on the enemy team, while a marksman is amazing for shooting down enemies from a safe distance, while support brawlers help assist you and your teammates by providing heal, speed, and other types of boost. Combining different archetypes for your team is a major key for success. So let's start with the best damage dealers in the game. The top candidates for damage dealers are Colt, Rico, 8-Bit, and Spike. Rico and Spike can also be classified as controllers because of their amazing abilities to trap enemies by Rico using his bounces around the walls or Spike and his curveball and slow down super. And then you have 8-Bit who can also be classified as support with his amazing boosted booster star power that can also boost you and your teammates damage by 50% more. However, the winner is definitely Colt who has the highest damage per second out of all brawlers in the game and he has access to reload gear who which can also boost his DPS more and then you also have speed loader gadget that instantly reloads more ammo. A Colt can take down an entire safe by himself on Heist in just a few seconds. Next, let's rate the best artillery brawlers in the game. These brawlers are best at utilizing walls to safely shoot down their targets. They are also known as throwers or lobbers. We have Barley, Dynamite, Tick, Grum, Larry and Laurie, and Sprout. Now recently, Larry and Laurie were new re newly released brawlers that broke the game with how powerful they were. However, after countless, countless nerfs, they are finally balanced. And they are still strong, surprisingly. And many pros still rate them as S or A tier. While Sprout recently got a hypercharge of his own, and even though it's the worst hypercharge out of all the others, the speed and damage boost alone is enough to make Sprout an A tier brawler right now. However, the crown for the best artillery brawler in the game has to be given to Dynamite. Even though Dynamite is at best A tier and competitive, he simply offers the most out of all artillery brawlers. He has one of the highest damage per second in the game, and he has possibly the most broken gadget with Satchel Charge, which essentially is like a free kill by stunning a brawler as well as insane burst potential and team wipe potential, making him one of the best carrying brawlers in the game. So yeah, sorry Larry and Laurie, but Dynamite is the true king of artillery brawlers again. Next, we're gonna rate the best support brawler in the game between Poco, Gus, Pam, Max, Byron, Ruffs, Gray, Doug, and Kit. There are plenty of great support brawlers in the game right now, and they all have very important roles. Max and Ruffs recently have been getting a lot of buffs, and they are actually very underrated right now. Poco also received some buffs recently to his gadgets, and is once again a very good heal supporter. One thing all the support brawlers are missing are a hypercharge. So I feel like whoever gets a hypercharge first will probably take the crown of best support. However, as of now, the best support brawler is Byron. Byron has been going under the radar a lot right now, guys. But he's been given a lot of buffs. And this includes a 10% buff recently, both to his damage and heal. He's a combination of a marksman and a support at the same time. Meaning, you can play him in many different ways, as a sniper or a heal support, and this ability to play multiple roles just makes him a superior option. Next, let's rate the best marksman brawlers in the game. This class of brawlers are probably my favorite to play, as skill in aiming and precision is so imperative for success. We have Brock, B, Piper, Nanny, Bonnie, Belle, Mandy, Maisie, and Angelo.
Out of all these brawlers, only Bell and Maisie have hyper charges. It's, it's definitely a marksman meta right now, guys, as four of these brawlers can be debated into the top 10 in the game overall. We have Angelo, Bell, Piper, and Nanny, all S tier brawlers right now. Piper is the most popular, as she is the most played brawler, well, most played marksman brawler in the game, boasting amazing damage. While Nanny is a direct counter with her greater range and power, and a return to sender gadget that easily counters Piper and Bell. However, the strongest marksman in the game right now is easily... Angelo, who deals the most damage out of all the marksman brawlers, especially with his super, and even more is the fact that he's the fastest marksman as well, which allows him to dominate the others by juking. Next, we have to figure out what the best tank brawler in the game is because there are so many powerful tanks in the game right now, guys. You got Bull, Primo, Rosa, Daryl, Jackie, BB, Ash, and Buster. So this is going to be a very difficult one. We have to cut it down to who has access to hypercharge because a hypercharge is quite essential for a tank as it boosts their speed, damage, and shield, and that allows that tank to thrive even more. So this cuts it down to Bull, Primo, Rosa, Jackie, and BB. Now, Bull and Primo are probably the least versatile here due to their lack of range. Same with BB, who's very strong, but she's also one of the easiest tanks to counter due to her low range. So it's gonna be between Rosa and Jackie, as they have the most versatile options in the game, the most maps that you can play them in. As Rosa's amazing, uh, charging her super pretty easily thanks to her tank trait that also charges her. Uh, super by taking damage. Same with Jackie. Now, Rosa does have access to a, a slowdown gadget that makes it easier to approach her targets. Um, however, Jackie wins as the strongest tank due to her counter crush star power, a speed boosting gadget, and overall, the power that makes her very versatile option. She is super strong with the support brawlers such as a great teleport or a heal support with Byron or Poco while also being one of the fastest tanks to charge her super and her hyper charge. Next, let's look at the best assassins in the game. This is another tough one because there are just so many powerful and popular assassins. This archetype is definitely the most popular because it includes some of the most played brawlers such as Mortis, Fang, Edgar, Stu, Leon, Buzz, Miko, Crow, Cortelius, and the newest brawler, Melody. Not just that, it has the most hypercharged brawlers as well, such as Fang, Edgar, Leon, Buzz, Miko, Crow, and Cordelius, a total of seven brawlers with hypercharges in this archetype. However, only three of these brawlers are S tier assassins, and they are Melody, Leon, and Cordelius. Leon has one of the most powerful hypercharges in the game as it gives him a speed boost on top of a healing star power with Invisiheal, added shield, and damage, while having the ability to remain invisible during his hypercharge, making him extremely dangerous. While Cordelius gets a guaranteed kill to almost any brawler that he imprisons in his shadow realm with his super and hypercharge by slowing down that brawler while also having a damage boost. However, the best assassin is easily Melody right now. Being a new brawler, she has a lot of benefits going her way with amazing stats, high damage output, and speed thanks to her star power and the shield gadget that makes her into the fastest tank in the game. She is a nightmare matchup for almost 90% of the brawlers right now. Only a few brawlers, maybe like a Shelly and a Jackie, are capable of countering a powered up shielded melody. Lastly, we have the controller's archetype. These brawlers are great at keeping the pace of the game in your team's favor and preventing enemies from pushing and taking control of the game. This includes Jesse, M, Gale, Mr. P, Lou, Otis, Charlie, Sandy, and Amber. There are a lot of powerful controllers in the game, but only two of them have hyperchargers, Charlie and Jesse. Jesse has one of the best hypercharges because of how quickly she charges it now boasting a massive turret with almost 10,000 health. And she is definitely an S tier brawler right now in the meta because of it. 
However, the best controller in the game is easily Charlie, who is one of the most dangerous brawlers in the competitive meta right now, having one of the highest ban rates, pick rates, and even win rate. Her ability to shut down brawlers by simply trapping them while also having an insanely powerful spider's gadget that blocks the attacks of single target brawlers allows her to easily win control over a game. She is simply insane at control. Okay, so that concludes our rankings of the best brawlers for each of the seven archetypes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and also comment below your favorite brawler archetype. And if any of these rankings surprised you, let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.